prayer. The church up the road from me where I live, my nephew is the pastor and they're having a 24-hour prayer time. I woke up this morning. Instead of walking my normal path, I ran to the church because my wife has signed up to pray from 5.30 to 6. We are all in this together. We are here for each other. And there's nothing more powerful than prayer. I'm so proud of this church. I'm so proud of my nephew. Setting up to pray. So I take these next 30 minutes to pray. To pray for our kids to pray for our country, to pray for our churches, to pray for the people who have no hope, who are hurting. Take a moment. Pray. There's nothing more powerful on the face of this planet than prayer. And it's not about me getting what I want. It's about worshiping the one that all of his goodness pursues after me. Lord, I thank you for this moment, for anyone who needs to hear a moment of prayer. Lord, I'm coming after you, but Lord, may we know that you come after us. May we take this moment, Lord, no matter what time we see this video, to take five, ten minutes and just pray. Not gripe, not complain, not argue, not want our own way. But Lord, pray for our children. That Lord, they would see the love of God in and through us. That our families would be strengthened by the power of the cross, by the power of Jesus, by the power of his name. That Lord, lives would be transformed into the image of his son. And that Lord, we would learn what worship really is that Lord in moments like this life is passing us by but you pursue us with your goodness Lord let those who feel no good in their life see the goodness of God coming after them in and through their lives Lord I pray that this is not just a momentary thing but it is real in our lives. Lord, whoever it is that needs to pray today, Lord, let them turn to Psalm chapter 23, verse 6, and just read it over and over and over again. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.